video, I hope you were having a great day. Welcome back to the Stand Man Series on Ram Solutions. A huge thanks to all my subscribers and viewers for love and support, and I hope you enjoyed my video so far. In my last two videos, I've been using the Arduino to make different colours lights using LEDs. In today's video, I'm going to be using buzzers to make different sounds. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. These are the two different types of buzzers. This is the active buzzer and this is the passive buzzer. So um, on the active buzzer, you can see that it has a black bottom, and on the um, passive on the passive buzzer, you can see that it has a green bottom. And when you turn these over, you can see that they both have the polarity um, plus sign right there. And um, once you so. Um, the active buzzer uses DC voltage and the passive buzzer uses AC voltage. As you can see in this diagram, there's the active buzzer and the passive buzzer. So the active buzzer requires DC voltage and it has a built-in oscillator so that the buzzer buzzes instantly. And on the um, other side, you've got the passive buzzer and it has the AC voltage and it doesn't, it doesn't have a built-in oscillator and you have to um, do some coding to make it buzz. The active buzzer is often more expensive than the passive one because of the built-in built oscillator circuit. Here you can see I've attached the active buzzer to the breadboard and I've put um, two um, wires, one on the positive side and one on the negative side. So the one on the positive side I'm going to connect to the 5 volts and the one on the negative side I'm going to connect to ground and when I do that the buzzer should buzz instantly. So first I'm going to connect it to the um, 5 volts and then to ground and you can see that it's buzzing let's move on to the passive buzzer now using the passive buzzer we're going to make eight different sounds each lasting 500 milliseconds now i'm going to connect the passive buzzer to the circuit and you can see that it's the passive buzzer because it has the green bottom so now I'm going to connect it to the breadboard now for the passive buzzer I'm going to connect the wire on the positive side to pin 8 and um, the one on the negative side to ground so now we've completed the circuit we're going to do the coding Now I'm going to define the pictures library to use the tone function. So make sure that under um, sketch, um, include library, that um, you have pictures in your library. And if you don't, um, include the pictures.zip file um, to the library. Now I'm going to define constants frequencies for the music notes. So here you can see um, I've got eight notes and they're all different frequencies so I got all the all these notes are already in the pictures.h file but I'm just showing you guys so you can understand it better now I'm going to define an array which contains a collection of notes so here you can see my array is melody and you've got eight notes here and um, which I mentioned before over here with different frequencies and here I've put the duration as 500 milliseconds so now we're going to move straight on to the loop and um, because we don't need anything for the setup so now I'm going to explain the code inside the loop so here you've got the um, for loop um, which um, has eight, eight here for the eight times we um, play the notes 
Uh, here you've got the tone function which has three parameters in it. You've got eight for the pin, a melody which contains all the notes that we play and the duration which is 500 milliseconds. So um, the, the, the loop will play the um, notes um, eight, eight times and then uh, after a delay of 2000 milliseconds it will start it again. Now that I've convinced the coding, come let's see it in action. If you listen carefully, you can hear the eight different sounds, each lasting 500 milliseconds, and the same cycle continues over and over again. So this is almost like music notes. Like this, you can create your own music by adjusting the frequencies. Arduino Uno microcontroller for making this video. Now I've got a clear understanding of how microcontrollers work and how the active and passive buzzers work as well. Visit the Ramsus' website to learn more details. All the information is listed on there. And on that note, I'm signing for today. I'll see you all in an exciting STEM episode next week. Have a good weekend everyone. Take care. Bye.